then in the spring, I'll get back hard on the detox for sure, because I love it. And I love to feel light and clean and hopefully inspire people with this. What's up y'all? This is Yakub, aka Kuba from Sustainability Starts Within. And we're out here in beautiful Miami, Florida, getting some sunshine although it's a little bit cloudy today and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on my cleansing journey uh, in November I set off to do a 30 day juice fast and I made a video about that on day two explaining what I was doing but I also uh, allowed myself to to do one meal a day if I wanted to so what I ended up doing was basically two weeks of just juice and this was really rough it was November it was really cold I was working construction and actually I was doing a lot of work on the roof building a roof and it was during that time where I was like really struggling so I didn't have much time to make juices so I was often buying like two liter freshly pressed orange juice and I felt like I was never fully satisfied you know so approaching the two week point I decided I was going to end the fast and for the rest of the month I would do juices throughout the day and then in the evening I would have dinner where I could make up whatever calories I needed so that I can have energy and what I did was basically eat melons for dinner so I juice all day and eat melons and I actually did that for like a month so in total my cleanse was about a month and a half um, and yeah, so the melons that I was eating were kiss melons, so honey kiss and summer kiss. So I'll just mono meal those, kind of go back and forth between what was ripe and what I was getting. And even that was a, a bit rough too because the, the melons were not always epic and ripe and I had to wait some time. So not every melon was, was the same, but I was kind of forcing myself to do this cleanse. And I, I was actually getting a bit weak and I was really tired and I... I just was struggling at work and sometimes I would come in late and I even had a couple of days where my shoulder back area was really hurting and I had to take a couple of days off. So while I was doing this I was trying to like support my body so I would go for massages regularly. Once a week I did massages throughout the cleanse. I would do hot and cold by going to the sauna and doing cold shower after. I would do that um, whenever I can I guess. And I was also taking uh, some supplements from Puridime, which were these enzymes as well as probiotics. And I felt the enzymes were helping kind of cleanse more and the probiotics were helping rebuild my gut flora. And I also did three sessions of colonics. And this is where it gets interesting because while I was doing the colonics, it was really great to kind of see what's going on inside my digestion. And the hydrotherapist was actually really not happy with my cleansing, thinking that I was too extreme. And she was explaining that my stomach acids were not properly breaking down food, so that my stomach was not producing enough acids. So she says that it's because my diet is too alkaline. But I was just drinking juice and eating melons. And I did feel like constant discomfort here, which I talk about in my other videos about my digestive issues. So she was recommending I take hydrochloric acid supplements to help get acid in my stomach to break down food properly because as we we're doing the colonics she saw a lot of fermentation so pure gas a lot of gas so she was saying things would ferment since they're not breaking down properly they're just kind of sitting there which attracted yeast so she saw lots of yeast and I was kind of happy that I wasn't eating much so I would try to go as clean as I can without eating any food for a couple of days when I would do the colonics. So she said she saw a lot of toxins, more toxins than food, which I was actually happy for because it, that's kind of like my goal is to cleanse stuff out instead of just food. I want, the, I want to get deeper in there, you know. So although I was struggling, I don't regret it and I ended up kind of quitting my construction job <laughs> which I don't regret because 
I don't see myself doing that forever anyways and it was it was a bit of a struggle and getting healthy and well is more important to me so now I have more time to focus on on this health journey and sharing it with you guys because I feel other people can learn from this you know I'm I'm actually willing to go places that people are not willing to go just to experiment on myself to get to next levels of health and just so I can live an epic life you know because I'm tired of struggling and and being you know like most of my life I didn't know about this stuff but so what the hydrotherapist actually recommended was that I start eating variety of foods so that my metabolism works better I don't really understand that I always feel like if you mono meal stuff and you eat simple that your digestion works better that way but but she did make it did make a little bit of sense the one thing I want to mention is that the hydrotherapist recommended I take a hydrochloric acid supplement to get some acid in my stomach to break down the food but I was really hesitant to take that I bought it just to kind of make her more easy <laughs> But I didn't take it and I reached out to to the support network I have in this raw vegan lifestyle and it's like everyone recommended me I just drink celery juice so I've just been drinking lots of celery juice. So I usually like to have my days start my days with celery juice. I still make epic juices. I've been making lots of coconut milk, mixing that with juices, recommended by uh, Dan the Man McDonald and I feel like I'm just gonna make more coconut milks and get into yogurts and just experiment maybe uh, sprout even things like like um, soak and sprout things like nuts and seeds and lentils and and uh, chickpeas legumes just kind of experiment with those kind of things to help kind of build my system in the winter and then in the spring I'll get back hard on the detox for sure because I love it and I love to feel light and clean and hopefully inspire people with this. What, what she also recommended was I do this thing called a micro cell, uh, it's called a live cell microscopy test with this technician who specializes in live cell microscopy where he took a, which I did it, he took a little drop of blood from my finger and he analyzed my blood under a microscope so I got to see it right there on the screen live and it was really cool and he said that he saw a lot of acid in my blood so I found it really interesting that I'm eating like so clean doing like a really clean uh, cleanse and I had all this acid in my blood he said more acid than someone who's eating McDonald's every day so I was kind of shocked and they I think they were kind of thinking I was gonna be worried that I can get sick from this cuz saying like these conditions could lead to sickness but I was actually like happy and so interested like that this is going on that I'm so clean and that yet there's so much acid in my blood. So I feel that that maybe this is because all the toxins that are in me from my entire life. I've been through a lot from my life from being born during Chernobyl to antibiotics when I was a baby and all this stuff. And just not taking care of myself fully until I was 27. I feel that. I was releasing these toxins a bit but they were just kind of like still in my system but I had no fat to store them so that's why they're so pronounced in my blood and that's why I was struggling and not feeling good feeling really tired and aching and you know struggling to keep up at work and feeling like my body is just asking to rest so I decided like it actually makes a lot of sense that winter is not the best time for cleansing because in the summer when I was when I would keep clean I had the sunshine and and um, the earth to ground me but in the winter it's just cold I don't feel like going outside much there's less sunshine so I feel there's less stuff supporting my my health and and eating not the highest quality melons I felt like it was a struggle it's still a good experience but I was struggling to cleanse in the winter so I decided with the hydrotherapist and and the technician that it's actually, it'll probably be a good idea to spend the rest of winter building and just like building myself back up instead of cleansing and then get back into cleansing in the spring. So from November 1st to December 15th I was doing this cleanse and then on December 15th I I went out with 
friends for the weekend and I decided I'm just gonna be more easy on myself and I ate you know more variety of stuff and I started getting into um, my diet looks more like started looking more like I would still juice every day for the most part I would um, I would start my day with juice and then for lunch maybe have something water rich like a melon or grapes whatever I felt like and then I would have sweet fruit for dinner followed by like something high fat and savory like avocado olives and sometimes I would eat kale chips and things that make me feel not as good but other days I would f eat more clean and I would go out with family and just be like more easy on myself and I started feeling good again my energy came back and I was also not working so I had the chance to rest whenever I wanted and kind of do whatever I wanted and I started feeling good so I realized that the winter is actually better to build and get into cleansing for the summer what I want to say is that I purchased the Fab Four kit from Dr. Robert Morse, um, his health club. I got the Fab Four kit for to support my body while I'm doing all this stuff, and that includes the uh, four tinctures. One was the stomach and bowels. Another one was the endocrine balance. Another one was the kidneys and bladder, and then the, the last one was the lymphatic system to kind of like help support all these things so that I'm. I was, gave me a chance to rebuild while still kind of cleansing after my cleanse so I was eating more variety more calories more fat and then I was taking these herbal tinctures from Dr. Robert Morse as well as a two two tinctures of a parasite just to kind of just because I got recommendations from people to take that as well and it was and I, it was good to start feeling good and it was also interesting with the micro cell test that um, the technician also saw heavy metals which I wonder if it's from the Chernobyl times or from antibiotics or what but he saw some heavy metals and a little bit of candida but he didn't say anything about he didn't see any parasites so I'm going to I still have two more sessions with him so after all this building I'm gonna be checking how my blood looks then and then maybe later on towards the spring I'll check one more time and just kind of keep experimenting with myself so I'm really blessed right now it's January after doing all this it's mid January and I got to come out to Miami I've been here for a week now hanging out with my friends from Miami fruit and I got I'm, I'm already feeling way better than I did in Canada because I have the Sun that's charging me up I have the earth that I can walk on barefoot and feel grounded and I also have the highest quality fruit that I can get my hands on because Miami fruit sells and ships fruit. So I've been eating a lot of exotic and uh, more like tropical and really sweet fruit. Lots of epic yellow dragon fruit, um, sapodilla, black sapote, and I've tried bre uh, egg fruit for the first time, tastes like cake. And then just lots of varieties of bananas and really good avocados and I'm just starting to feel really good and I've actually I've actually since the holidays slipped up a bit and ate a little bit of, of boiled veggies and tasted a little bit of cooked food here and there and had some gourmet raw and I was feeling good because of taking taking off the pressure from myself but I started feeling not the best when I started making too many exceptions so as of yesterday I'm like okay it's a new moon fresh start I'm keeping clean again so I fasted most of the day just drank coconut water lemon water ate a pomelo had a bunch of dragon fruit and then one avocado and tomatoes had the best sleep feel really good today um, it's late in the morning I just had a tea I don't really feel like eating I'll probably eat later and I'm just gonna keep it clean but not be hard on myself and I guess that's it for the update so that's it for now have a blessed day I'm gonna enjoy the Sun and check in with y'all later peace and love